Greetings. I uh, unusually sort of had a, a choice of two titles for this video. One was going to be OMG Architecture and Morality, which is sort of a play on words on orchestral maneuvers in the dark. A group from the 80s, probably their most f famous song is Enola Gay. Um, they did many other songs as well. Uh, but then I thought also about lock, stock, and two, or lock, travel, Scott, Travis Stock, Travis Scott, <laughs> and two, sm and one smoking barrel. It's all <laughs> sort of links in. I've had one cup of coffee so far. Um, don't normally see 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I thought there's only one 10 o'clock in the day <laughs> these days. Uh, yeah, so let's get that bit out of the way first. NRG Energy and that Travis Scott, Travis Stock, Travel Cot thing. Now... I've watched two very contrasting videos on this. The first is Niven Channel, which will show you the, and there's probably many other channels that have done the same thing, showing you all the dark stuff, which is there. There's no, it's, it's undeniable. It's sinister. It's just pure evil. Um, I'll put the links in for, for one of Niven's videos, and then you can find the others from there. They're all the last few days. There's also True Love Channel, which gives another perspective on this, that it's actually showing us the way forward, like we're ascending to Venus, as it were, which I thought was very interesting, and yeah, that makes perfect sense as well. So, it's all about being in the balance. So let's just look at this for a minute. The Scales of Justice. The symbol for Libra we're talking about here. I think you've all seen it at one time or another, or you can picture what it looks like. But basically, you've got the picture of a woman who's holding a set of scales, and she's blindfolded. <coughs> so what I would... How I would interpret that is, that is divine feminine... And you could say it's Judgment Day or the weighing of things up, but it's not with the eyes because she's blindfolded. It's through feeling, through the internal sight. It's going within oneself and weighing things up. My mind's sort of all over the place with this, so the, th it, the thoughts just come. I, I did a video... A while ago, I call, called it anatomizing Anton, referring to Anton Bruckner. Well, I think it's actually the other way round. There's definitely the spirit of Bruckner is coming through to me. Um, no matter whether anybody else believes that or not, that's, that's irrelevant. I'm just talking about from my perspective here. Now, I often wonder about, oh, while I think of it, I've put it in the playlist, an introduction to Bruckner, and, and there's another bit with Bruckner symphonies. Last few days, I've been trawling through and looking for little snippets. <coughs> and basically, what I've what I've written down in nothing and half, and what I've found in Bruckner's music in particular is being endorsed by con professional conductors and musicians from leading orchestras who are, who are basically saying the same thing, but obviously coming from an angle that I can't come come at, which because I can't read a musical score. I'm pretty dyslexic. It just looks like a load of dots on lines. But I've got an armchair passion for the music and how it feels to me and how it strikes a chord. So bringing this back 
to where I started with orchestral manoeuvres in the dark, there is a song called Messages. And I think that, uh, if, I, if I've understood this right, there's a thing called a pedal point, which in organ music would be a sustained pressing of a foot pedal and it holds a note, so it creates a sort of like a bass tone. Now, to me, that pedal point is very much in that Messages song, which was a single by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. And it, there's, I think there's a, a perfect illustration. If you, if you listen to that song, listen internally how you feel when that pedal point tone changes. I think that's a huge clue. <coughs> So yeah, architecture. This uh, this was something. It's sort of. I've had a couple of comments because it's quite an old video. It's called Tartar Kirks, Bye Bye Church. In other words. So let's. I want to just sort of go through the architecture and what is being shown. So. Excuse me while I just do a very quick drawing here. So, sort of an arch, it's basically a woman with open legs as it were you could say, to put it in a crude terminology. Now there's your phallic symbol above it, the tower, Mary means tower. Where are we going with this? <laughs> The church, the cathedral. So you go in through the open legs. After all, the real true essence of you just resembles a sperm. And it's housed in a physical body. So you're going in through that archway. And then of course you've got the other constituent parts which are mentioned on that video all that time ago. <coughs> which are the nave and you've got all the pews because it's like whew, pew stinks and uh, then you've got the chance L and then you've got the altar and of course you pass the collection plate thinking in energy terms now let's just have a look what else you've got in this architecture arc being the operative word here. As well as that entrance way, you'll see there are lots of series of arches. Often on a lot of the churches, you'll have a north and south aisle as well, and they're, they've, they're like extensions, and they've got a series of arches. I've tried in vain to actually find something on the web, and that is a picture of a skull when viewed above the roof of the mouth of the interior the in, of this sort of housing of the brain and the mind. Now I think uh, if I remember rightly and it's a very good video I'm going to refer you to What The Flock TV and Paul did a brilliant video on the throat and yeah, if you open your mouth and look in the mirror, what do you see at the back there? An arch. And there's a top of the mouth, it's like a series of ribbed bits. And it's even called the roof of the mouth. Because it's sound vibration. You've got that uh, thing that sort of hangs down. I don't even know what it's called, but I can sort of think of a cartoon... And it's sort of like a boxer's um, ball on a um, spring for, for practicing. Um, I'm sure it's something like Bugs Bunny um, that was shown in. Something like that anyway. But in terms of a bell, a ball, a ball, it's a clapper that actually hits the side of the bell and makes the vibration. No doubt, I mean, I'm, I don't really know a lot about human biology as such, but... No doubt that is 
has a huge part to play in vocalisation and sounds and intonation with what we speak. So I think you can see where this is going here now. I mean, let's go back to the, the church or the cathedral. You have one massive organ, many, many windpipes, and of course, lots and lots of arches and roof domes. Now, it's like a mirror in a way, because you have got lots of organs, but only one windpipe. You have a series of arches that forms the roof of the mouth as well. So it's sort of interesting what's being shown. <coughs> and again, with that NRG thing, you've got that wrapper, and it's sort of like this huge sort of head of this wrapper doing a sort of bar impression with the open mouth, and it's resembling CERN, it's resembling like the roof of a mouth as well, in, in a way. So what, what is that showing? I'd say it's showing both. We go, in this in this reality, this external reality, you go you go to a thing called a school, and you're programmed to think in certain ways, and told this is right, that's wrong, whatever. But what if life, the entire life, is actually a school, and that's not where the learning st well it doesn't does it? Life experiences are all it's all learning. But uh, let's sort of go in a little bit deeper onto this one. I have to ask the question of what exactly is an alien? What if this is, this is all the wrong way round, which would follow the typical narcissist turntable tactics anyway, of the accuser throws the accusations at the accused? What if you were earthbound? You didn't have this human spirit within a vessel, but you looked human. So you, all you've got is your intellect, your ability to cast illusions. And you can't actually get out of this. Or you don't even know how to get out of this because it's gone so far down this road, you know. Um, in other words, put yourself in the position of what people perceive as these controllers of the system. What if you, were, you found yourself, you were in that position? What would you do? Because it seems pretty clear that there is a huge fear control system and the implications of some very unpleasant things that may happen to you if you break that brotherhood or that code. And what if they're actually stuck here? And being an eternal spirit that is just having an experience here, who actually is the alien? <laughs> who is the, the visitor here? Whose home planet is it really? Just a few things to think about there. But yeah, so just to sort of recap over that again. Look at the your anatomy. You've got one windpipe, you've got many organs, you've got a roof, and above that you have a dome. And then look what's been displayed in architecture. Now somebody said, I can't remember if I heard this on a video or if it was a, in, a, in a conversation I had, but it was about asking the question of who are the real Freemasons? Surely you want to have the right angle on things. Now the right angle, I would have thought, would have been 
as shown on that scales of justice. It's that way rather than that way. Not a V, but a, an upward. And then coupled with the seeing from the, the mind's eye, the weighing things up. You'd also then have your dividers shown there. You would also have your compass, your moral compass. Hence architecture and morality again. See, it just goes round it. This is just a small circle, a wheel within a wheel after all, which is what this entire everything is. It's wheels within wheels cogs within cogs and I still maintain that all that has happened is somebody or some group have meddled with time and just brought things forward and realized oh shit total miscalculation basically a copy of the Anunnaki story because time loops and it's loopy here anyway and um They've just brought forward the, the end of Valhalla, as it were. Um, the gods in the sky, the banking dynasty. Then, of course, you've got, to use another Wagner analogy, you've also got the underworld, the Silicon Valley. Well, I'm sure that will drown. Um, we don't need any more silicones. <coughs> <coughs> got this awful cold-like symptoms at the moment. <laughs> I don't really care. Um, so basically, this comes down to how do you view this world, this external world? Do you see it as something wonderful or do you see it as something absolutely dreadful? Or do you see it somewhere in the middle? I know which way I see it. And I would miss this for the world, time of my life, as it were. So there was something else. I'll come on to that. If it comes, the thought comes back, because it's 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 a little bit convoluted, I know. Um, but I wanted to get these thoughts out there. Yes, I know what the other part was. Um, I was sent a link um, to a channel called uh, Oh, it's gone, isn't it? It's typical. But I'll tr I'll try and um, it may come. But basically, it, it highlights another aspect to all this. That whatever you believe in, if that belief has been shattered, it leaves that horrible, I've jumped off the Titanic. I'm not going down with a sinking ship because I can see that ship is sinking. But now I'm in this horrible, dark, cold ocean and I don't know where I am. It's... A death process and I can relate to this um, not at a very deep level fortunately because I didn't go in deep into these things but harmonic atheist I think is the channel's name and it's people who've come out of Christianity realizing it is a huge deception I'm sorry yeah it is the way it is it is but it, it is and it isn't because you don't actually have to have that death and that void. You don't have to chuck the baby out with the bathwater at all. Because there is a middle path with that. So I left a comment on this one, one, one video and I'll re reiterate it here. And it doesn't just have to be religions, it can be anything. If you're struggling and you're going through what feels like a death of a belief because you found it to be false. Well, come and talk to me. I'll try and help you through it as best I can, um, based on my own experience of when you, that wrestle in the mind with, you don't want to let it go, but you can also see it's wrong and, and you don't know where to go and it's like you feel really lost. And those that were your friends, particularly if it's a religion, they will not like, especially Christianity, you're now in league with the devil, they're turning you, the, the back on you, they don't, they don't want to know, so you've lost, and as, as was described in one of these, um, by one of these guests, it, it's, um, it's like uh, you're mourning the loss of a relative and someone coming up and, and, and then just having a go at you um, when you're going through that mourning process, which is, which is awful. 
And uh, that's sort of typical, I think, of a lot of these hypocritical religious dogmas and things. Um, but I wouldn't attach to anything. This This whole learning curve is about letting go it, there's a saying about you choose your, you can choose your family but you can't choose your neighbors as it were well let's take that into the wider context you may it may well be that you've come here to have this experience you're placed in a particular environment a particular family but now your neighbors can be distracted by a cat <laughs> um your neighbours can be your work environments, um, people with shared interests and things, and it's it comes down to this magnetics because this is another funny thing. How we one minute you've got this deadly thing that's and everybody's got to keep apart, but there's certain events we're allowed to come together. But there's a key in in that because we are basically magnetic energy. So if you're drawing the, the people with that same mindset and that same energy together well it's just going to grow that energy so a lot of people that are like lured by those bright lights of the nrg well they've all got, already got that energy anyway so it's just going to exacerbate it and grow more of that energy likewise with these churches these circes which is where the name comes from these or the scottish word kirk that's a quite interesting enterprise, isn't it? And that is exactly what it is as well. It's an enterprise because it's it's like a business. You've got an idea. You sell that idea to one group in one way, but you also sell it to another group because you're also keeping the divide and conquer because the group that see it this way will not see it the way that the second group will see it. So you're already creating the dividers the conflict in that but you're also profiteering and creaming off both sides of that divide and conquer it's the perfect strategy and you can really reap the benefits you can harvest the energy from both sides because where the attention goes the energy definitely flows so yeah, that's uh, oh, we're up to twenty-two minutes. Um, <coughs> so yes, anybody who's struggling, the door's open here. Um, not saying I got all the answers because I haven't, but hopefully, I can give you a different perspective on on things, a different way of looking at things that will take away the raw edges, the more negative aspects. I mean, but it's important to see both the positive and the negative anyway, and then make that informed decision between the two. Be the balance between the positive and the negative. Walk that middle path, as it were. Middle, medium, meditate. Middle eye, the mind's eye. Let's face it, we do le live in rather media evil ages at the moment there is a nothing new under the sun and it is all time loops just given a new stage setting each time but it's the same old shit show over and over again but it doesn't have to be a shit show it actually uh i'm quite happy with the way things are now for me to with anything and say this is the best it's always an external comparison against something else so I can't say it's the best and it's definitely not the worst but um, how I feel inside is, is is what counts and how you feel inside what counts and how you feel will depend on what you see and what you take in and how you weigh things up but obviously you can't weigh things up if you're not getting the full picture so this is how a lot of this has been played like that whole NRG thing. You can see it one way, you can see it another, but what if it's both at once? From those that are engineering and the architects of these things will surely want to maximize the profiteering and harvest as much as possible from whichever way they can get it in. 
Yeah, so I think that's plenty now. Um, we'll leave that there. So, yeah, the offer's there. Um, come and talk to me. Um, and I'll show you that there is a calm sea and a prosperous voyage. You can navigate your way through this. You can stay true on your path and not be rocked by the external. So I say love to you all and ta-ta for now.